Roy has a letter he's going to share um, from Howard Richardson, who is in jail in Minersville. Right, Minersville, Pennsylvania. There you go, Roy. Thank you, everyone. Anyway, excuse me. <coughs> Most, if not all, of you are familiar with Howard Richardson, who is an elderly gentleman in his 70s who is uh, in prison not real far from here, 30, 40 miles from here. Um, this letter is about a month old. I did get to visit Howard maybe a week ago, Friday, and we had a good visit. Um, well, I'll read the letter. You have to be patient with me because I have a little hard time with his handwriting. but. Uh, I'll skip over some of it, which is just personal details. Dear Roy, I hope you received my last letter. Should have received it around August 15th. Hope you're well and keeping busy. Could use your services because it has become crazy around here. Maybe you know some of this, so thank you for your understanding in advance. About two and a half weeks ago, and again, this is going back to mid-August, there was a stabbing and they locked down routinely to look for any additional weapons. That lasted for two or three days. Then in our unit, own unit, there was a fight. Never saw it, but that's what was reported. Fast forward, so they lock us down on August 29th, supposedly looking for weapons, but they never mentioned that weapons were involved. So then what we're doing and looking for on August 31st, searching our cells. cells. So here we sit, two straight days of lockdown. I'll spare you the details. I'm saying all this to say to you and others, we need help. Uh, just so you know what lockdown means, we are in our cells for 24 hours. They let us out for showers, and that's not every day. I have meds that are prescribed for me. Not one medical person has been to my cell door. In other words, he wasn't getting his meds. I have arthritis, and my meds are exhausted. I have had three decent nights of sleep in the last 10. And I believe they kept them on lockdown for much longer than that. And that's why I actually received two letters from Howard at once, because he couldn't. He couldn't write right away, or he could write, but it couldn't go out. Roy, some of some of the, I would imagine. I know James Grant had this problem. I would imagine some of the sleeping issues were the heat. These older prisons do not have air conditioning. Um, they're locked once the door is shut. They're locked in the cell. There's no air circulation, and just heat just builds up and builds up and builds up. And James Grant described his cell as almost like a sauna. So I would imagine the prison at Mill, Millersville is probably not much newer than Lewisburg. Maybe some, but I doubt a, not, a lot. So there's probably no AC in that facility either. So when it got up to 80 degrees last week um, inside the prison, it probably was at least that at night. It just doesn't ever cool down. Yeah, Tina is exactly right, and we'll allude to that a little bit later on. But I'm sorry, I said this letter. <laughs> no, that's all right. I'm, I'm two thirds done with the no. the letter. Um, he said he just got finished saying he hasn't gotten good sleep lately because of the arthritis and no meds. Yeah. That's just me, he said. I'm sure there are dozens or more in our building and dozens more throughout the facility. I'll say it again: they are doing this because they can. They're because they can get away with it. Prison reform doesn't begin to summarize this place. And he is in FCI school kill, which is, that's an Indian name, I think, over yeah. east of here. Yeah. Thank you for any and all that you can do. Please get the ball rolling. God bless you, Howard. And then here's, there's a PS here. Um, said he's ready for another visit. Thankfully, I did get to visit last week. Um, okay. I bet our officials would not approve this lockdown if they knew all the details. And... Well, I would hope that they would not. Um, yep. They do have a new warden in um, FCI school kill. It's a younger lady. I, I've, I've seen her one time I was there visiting, and she actually came into the visitation room for something. Um, he, then he, his last word in the postscript is, try being, okay, try living in a large walk-in closet with another man in 90 degrees heat for four days. Sounds real humane. <laughs> <laughs> now that's, that's what I was talking about with the one that when it gets hot outside those cells especially if you're sharing it with somebody else even just body heat causes the temperature inside those cells to rise and it just never cools down at night yeah they, they hold the heat now thankfully cold cooler weather is coming on here so it should start being but then, then in the winter time they they're, they're cold damp. they're cold yeah um, I, I will say 
regarding Howard, he's obviously in a frustrated mood when he wrote this, but when I visited him last week or two weeks ago, which was a few weeks after this was written, he was back to his old self. You know, he back to have visits again and uh, talk to his wife again, but he was also very cheerful. So we had a great visit, and um, I'm, it, it's inspiring to me, so many of the J6ers have that, and it's, it comes from faith in Christ, they have that uh, stick to or whatever you would call it, the perseverance under trial. Yes. So, uh, okay, Tina, coming back to you.